my colleagues in New Zealand uh, spoke to Joseph Parker's mum. Oh, wow. She's quite scared. She says, you're a scary guy. It's a dangerous fight. It's scary. No, no, do you know what? I've got um, not an issue with Parker, but he's my challenger, but mm. I respect his family. Yeah. So, you know, I'll put Parker in my prayers that he leaves the ring um, in good health. <laughs> you know, and he goes back to New Zealand to his family in good yeah. health. So that's the least I can do for him and his family. His mum will be very happy to yeah, hear no, that. I know it's like a mother's love is unconditional, mm. so I respect that. Yeah. But we've both got a job to do and we both want to be victorious. So yeah. tell his mum not to worry. I hope he leaves the ring in safe condition. That looks like it's going to be quite an easy fight. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely hope so. <laughs> I but you know what it is, you can't understand. He's the king of pies. <laughs> What's his nickname? Don't <laughs> so give him a nickname. <laughs> pie. The pie. <laughs> no, I can't underestimate I mean, anyone. He must be a world class athlete, but he doesn't look like one, does he? I mean. You can't underestimate. You know, the thing is with, with boxing, I think, you know, the things that you lack, you can make up for in power in the heavyweight division. Yeah. And there's not, like, there's not one heavyweight that hasn't gone without getting dropped in their whole career. And that's what I realised is that um, a lot of fighters have lost their titles through underestimating other athletes. Like, for instance, Lennox Lewis, when he was, he was filming, I think, Ocean's 11. Okay, or, yeah. And he lost his title because he wasn't focused. And no, no heavyweight champion is one heavyweight champion of the world. They're all two-time heavyweight champion, three-time, because of the last thing they lose is the power in their punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't, even though he looks like the pie eater, <laughs> but he could be packing a wallop as well, so I'm going to be... I'm focused. I'm in training camp now. And when I was talking about the likes of Federer's and so on, it wasn't in terms of replicating who they are. I'm just saying in terms of other sports, when we're talking about tennis and golf, I was saying that these heavyweight championship belts should be held in high esteem, and I don't want to come here and demonise Parker and say, everything he's done is rubbish, you know, um, anyone that's just walked into a gym can achieve what he's done because what he's done is phenomenal. It's history. It's groundbreaking. And that's what I'm trying to say. As champions up here, we should be held in our, holding our uh, achievements in high esteem and show respect as ambassadors, ambassadors of the sport. That's where I was coming from. I'm not trying to replicate what he's done, but I'm saying in terms of other sports replicating where boxing is, I think the trash talking should still hold a sense of respect to what we've achieved. And world, ch world champion to world champion, I look at it like this, in terms of mental strength, it's all good. I've defeated champions, I've faced Olympic champions. So what Parker will see and who you say he is, I feel that he'll be looking at the mirror because across the room will be someone just like him, another world champion, another undefeated champion who's mentally tough, with speed, that can take a punch. And if he does take a punch, there's two types of people who take a punch. One who gets put down and stays down, or would you hate to fight the one who gets put down and gets up and keeps on coming? And that's who he's dealing with, really. So he'll be facing someone who he sees every day in the gym, who his coach sees every day in the gym, to reflect in the other corner. So that's what I think will make it a great fight. And Joseph Parker, he's obviously a stepping stone to, to become the undisputed. Never a stepping stone. Never a, never stepping, a stepping stone. stepping stone. They're all challenges. As a challenger, because I'm never going to put myself on a pedestal, I always have to keep that challenger's mindset. So. I can't look at Parker, I can't look at the up and coming heavyweight as a stepping stone because in the heavyweight division, I think one mistake, you know, it's like snakes and ladders. You go back down the ladder and got to work up again. So Parker's definitely a real challenge. What do you make of Higgins? I mean, he He's good. Today. Parker needs him. He's okay. good. He's good. He adds to the fuel. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not only Parker that's talking, he's got Higgins talking. Kevin talking, they're all good for each other. I, I, now I can see, right, I watched a press conference with um, Huey and I see that part where Peter had got up. Yeah. I don't even remember what he said. He got mad and I was thinking, who is this? Who is this geezer? And I can see why, because he is good at, you know, he can get under, get under people's skin. I think of his own admission, he'd had a few drinks that day as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's intelligent as well. He's got a good way with words. You know, so yeah, I can see why. So he is good for the Parker team for sure.